quit my job and left Toronto. Why? It's been eight months since I just don't work anymore. The journey of remembering. Remembering where I come from. Meeting my ancestors. Ocean, mountains, fungi, volcanoes, trees, the sun, the wind, being with the elements and connecting with my roots, being grateful for every single breath I take, for every move I make, for every single fruit I eat, for every song I hear, for every cloud I see, for every touch I feel, rising with gratitude. Falling asleep with gratitude. Nourishing my body, my sacred vessel, with real fresh foods. Building relationship with plants from the seed. Expressing how beautiful they are and how much I love them. Learning to be a better steward. Remembering my roots. Myceliating this experience with unconditional love and gratitude, connecting with different expressions of the universe, learning from them, listening attentively, and helping when I can, remembering my roots, being surrendered to the guidance, trusting the flow, being open. I am loving awareness. Remembering my words. Well, I lived in Toronto for six years and I moved there when I turned 18, uh, when I graduated high school in Kazakhstan. This city gave me a lot, like a lot, moving from living with parents and being taken care of to like totally new country, city, like which is bigger, like six times bigger than Astana where I came from and learning ev to do everything by myself, like studying like college, buying groceries, doing my laundry, taxes, getting bank account, getting a new job and much more. This city definitely gave me a lot and I met so many beautiful people, I had such great connections and I didn't, attended so many awesome concerts, DJ sets and I always called myself, I used to call myself like the happiest kid ever because every single year of mine was just like becoming more awesome and awesome like each year. Do -do -do. So many realizations had happened in, let's say, consciousness expansion. During one intense transformative moment of my... I was in high park. And I could see with my eyes closed how the whole civilization was built like before human was, like existed like how life on planet was formed like from lichen and fungi inoculating the earth eating rocks and giving life to this planet and I could see this all and I could feel with my whole body with every single cell of my body I could feel how disconnected we became just like how the whole collective forgot their divine nature and that just like spoke so deeply to my heart because the knowledge was always there Manjai just helped me to boost this like process and elevate all my interests since then I started studying mycology and like science about mushrooms and fungi well, anyway, fungi 
I started learning how to rewild myself, rewilding process, like how do how, how do I remember my roots? Like what are my roots? And the process of naturalization, like going back to nature, going back to my roots happen was happening. And the more I learn, the more I understand how little I know. And the, like I was digging like so deeply and I'm still learning a lot. Like, I'm still like digging into like how to heal myself with plants, with fungi, because Mama Gaia got it all. And the more I dig, the deeper I dig, the more each topic like branches out, my seeds like to thousand millions uh, other topics. And I'm like, wow, <laughs> there is so much to learn. Crazy. It's just crazy. And I'm still learning how to heal myself. And in so many different ways in different aspects of my being uh, no exactly what is your problem this leads to beginning of 2023 when i decided that i'm leaving Toronto and because this life is just not it like it is contaminated we humans put ourselves in such unnatural conditions put each other each other we put ourselves in the prison of this concrete jungle and surrounded ourselves somebody surrounded us with toxic tap water with toxic food with toxic air and yeah which intoxicates our brains, advertising, and all of this stuff. If you know, you know. <laughs> so I bought a ticket at the beginning of the year. I bought a ticket to Peru, where I plan to learn um, at the farm, where I plan to learn how to grow my food, how to just like live off grid. And it's called like Wolfing uh, World, Worldwide organic farm exchange and that deserves a whole other video like because I can talk about it pretty much, pretty much a lot and yeah this is where I decided that I'm gonna leave by myself but then another realization on some bicycle day happened <laughs> with me that I should call that I should ask my friend Nika to come with me and I called her and she also was like stuck in this nine to five nine to five grid for the past three years and we definitely connected like the that's the deepest connection I ever had in my life and I called her and <laughs> do you want to come with me in Peru? <laughs> oh that was just like such emotional moment for both of us because like we felt how like <laughs> how like the whole trajectory of our lives is just like changing and that was like the year of full of like incredible magical manifestations in my life Nika said yes of course yes and we both left I quit my job I worked as a cook I quit my job in October 17 and when in October 24th we left and lived in Peru for three months <sighs> But yeah, since October 17, 2023, it's been eight months since I just don't work anymore and I live on my savings 
and how did I save? Would you ask me possibly me? I don't know. <laughs> but okay, if you ask, I'll tell you. I worked like regular cook job. Like I was getting like 20 bucks an hour and I work 20 to 30 hours a week, which is not 40 hours a week, like full time thing. Like most of the time I work 20 hours a week and I still could save because like I don't really go outside and spend money on cigarettes, alcohol and whatever stuff, but just drink my water, smoke my herb <laughs> and I don't eat outside a lot and that was like a great benefit of being cook. It's just like I was getting meal or some leftovers or like one, two meals of my day could I didn't really have to pay for it and that helped me a lot and I was cooking at home which is like you know just like saving money and like one of the greatest secret like I'm revealing the greatest secret of it all so in Canada we have to file taxes each year which I did at the beginning of 2023 at the same time for three years and I got returned for three years at once and that made me a millionaire <laughs> I mean that just paid for my tickets to Peru and also then I went to Hawaii because I had like such a deep calling that you gotta go there you gotta connect with the land and so when I came after Peru in February, my work permit, my Canadian work permit was just expiring and I left on exactly the day when it was expired and I lived in Hawaii for three months after that. So basically that tax return paid for my flight tickets and that was so helpful. <laughs> Я что, мы будем а, смотреть? Материал? Угу. Мы будем его играть в итоге? Мы готовы? Давайте. Палку, да Это мой я... первый день. Три, четыре! Колокольчик, блин. Пам-пам! Other choice uh, to stay in Canada is to get one or two year job contract like belonging to one company for one or two years and I just wasn't ready for that. I was like, no. <laughs> not for me i can't do this even though i was like i just needed to work six more months um, to apply for my permanent residency which all my family wanted and that was kind of like a national plan going like arriving to canada getting like the residency but it just didn't work out it didn't sit right here and i was manifesting abundance in my life for like since 2023 at the end 2022 at the end of 2023 <laughs> from the end of 2023 I was from the end of 2023 I was manifesting abundance in my life and that's a real 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 I am attracting using my and I attracted my tax return. <laughs> no, it just like it works like this. <laughs> but it's a daily practice. It's definitely a daily practice to remind myself, keep on thinking openly, positively. Ups and downs. Hang it up. <laughs> the journey of taking risks and following my heart yeah, listening quietly, 
that's daily 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 practice of tapping in and yeah and now I'm residing in my motherland which is Kazakhstan and I've been going through very interesting emotional states and it's been quite crazy living somewhere where I li haven't lived like in seven years and wow <laughs> it's just walking around and looking at everything just like whoa, whoa, like a foreigner and it's been very interesting and ups and downs <laughs> definitely but and it feels very different to stay connected to the higher source in a way while living in the city after the whole wild wildlife I had and like being surrounded by the noise and this is like fast pace when I'm like but it's gonna make me stronger <laughs> no I just like literally just keep learning how to tap in and listen quietly that's what I gotta do and that's what I want to say